stream. If we get hit by lightning, trust me, we won't be going home tonight. The O'Hare crew has asked you something a little different. And it's got Joey and Sir. It's kind of nerve-wracking. I don't know what I'm doing. It's got me all Something goes wrong when Bill takes someone else's record for a spin. Oh, never thought about Tom. Tom was pretty upset. I was scared. And Jameson battles the clock and his nerves. My hand was shaking when I was working those cables. Like I've said before, if you're not paying attention, the big tow truck in the sky will straighten it out for you. Chicago has more than 20,000 miles of highway full of breakdowns, spills, and wrecks. It's a dangerous mess, and somebody's got to clean it up. O'Hare towing with his wife Marcy, his brother Joey, a fleet of high-tech trucks, and a team of dedicated drivers who risk their lives every day, ready to respond at a moment's notice to the next big wreck. It's just after 7 a.m., but for O'Hare operators Mike Trykowski and Dennis Miles, it's already proving to be a challenging day. Honey, go ahead and pull it up. In Gardner, a suburb 45 miles outside of downtown Chicago, 70 mile an hour winds picked up an empty trailer and flipped it over. The nasty weather conditions have both Trike and Dennis on edge. So we kind of got to act fast because when we get our booms up in the air, we're lightning rods. So we had a lot of lightning when I first got here. But it's very dangerous out here. Uh, there's no trees, there's no buildings. Given the precarious situation and need to hurry, Tri quickly devises a plan of attack. We're rigging right now. What we're going to do is we're going to do a, a bridge pick. This is where we're going to have to, because of the short shoulder, we're actually going to cradle this thing between the two trucks and upright it right where she stands. I got a little bit more. Give me one more pull. I'm, I'm lifting the trailer, so I mean, are we ready? All right, we're good. because they're giant lightning rods out here. If we get hit by lightning, trust me, we won't be going home tonight. With the lights attached to the trailer, Trike and Dennis are ready to go. I love the challenge of it. It makes your hair stand up. What a way to start a morning. Huge advocate of cross training. Today at the Downers Grove Shop, Bill and his crew are preparing to host a class for rotator operators around the nation that will convene here tomorrow. Today's the day that we're getting ready for the rotator school, and I know we're pretty good at picking stuff up, but we're going to see how good we are at knocking it down. I'm actually very excited, but these deals always end up being a little harder than you think. Did you say Al when I came down? Yeah. <laughs> We've got seven or eight vehicles here that we're going to put in positions that over the next couple days we're going to practice setting them up for the rotator school. Picking them up when they're already on their side. This is what I do. These gentlemen have asked me to put stuff on its side and it's got me all It's kind of nerve wracking. I don't know what I'm doing. This tank is full of uh, 6,000 gallons of water. Hey, Tom. Should this chain be on the spring or on the around the mount? If we left it there, it would have it would have definitely broken. Bill and 
Joey are working with instructors from Miller Industries who will be leading the class tomorrow. Because this gets real busy, what's going to happen is we come down to the first one, go up, and it goes through that center one. And Bill and Joey are already learning a thing or two. Like a f octopus. We're using seven snatch blocks, which I'm very interested about. It's one line from the tow truck that runs through multiple parts and it holds the unit up. And because it's only one cable, you can control it with one lever and it's uniform pressure along the side of the tank. I'm just going boom up. Joey needs to set the tanker down carefully. Too much force and it will continue to roll over right onto one of O'Air's rotators. I've never done this before, so it's like freaking weird. He did it. 50,000 pounds on the ground without a hitch. With the heaviest truck safely tipped over, now the guys can have a little fun. We're trying actually to get this uh, garbage truck rolled over. Glad we're better at picking them up than we are putting them on their side, Joe, because that was ugly. No, that was. That's where I get to play with my destructive nature. It's fun. Okay, I'm done with it. Too fun. Coming up. I say it's game time. What do you say? Joey's confidence could get him in trouble. I predict nothing bad will happen. And later. This school bus makes an unscheduled stop. Never count on That's the option that you never count on right there. O'Hare Towing handles 50,000 calls a year using service trucks, flatbeds, and heavy duty wreckers. And the biggest, baddest of them all is the rotator. And today, Joey is called out his rotator to help a semi that's stuck in a busy intersection. The tractor trailer was turning right on the North Avenue when he was cut off. That's what happens when people get cut off by a driver. This guy's trying to make a right-hand turn. He just gets cut off by all these people, and he can't get in the second lane, so he's screwed, and he gets stuck here at the corner, leaning on the light pole and stuck on these rocks. I'm gonna get this thing rigged up to the back here, but you know what? I didn't do something. It's a big, pretty key thing. I gotta make sure she's not loaded. The trailer doors are pinned shut. He can't get the doors open, so he checks with the driver. The trailer's empty. The doors are pinned shut. If I open them up, the door might break off. So I gotta, I'm gonna do it so fast. I'm gonna just skip it across the ground, and uh, I predict nothing bad will happen. Now that I said that, I'm screwed. As Joey gets set up with this pick and swing, he notices a problem. I know that street light's probably freaking expensive. I don't feel like buying one today. Street lights, power lines. What's nice about the rotators is you can swing the boom in low and then position where you have to go and then raise it up to the right height. I say it's game time. What do you say? Easy one today, a little quick easy one. Start the morning off, get the hell out of Dodge here. Hey, cops, you're having a good one. I'll see ya. And they said, damn, that was fast. With the truck back on the road, Joey must race back to the shop. Today, over 70 operators from around the country have converged on O'Hare for advanced training at Rotator School. And how many of you can start pitching and have the cable pop back in? It's a chance to do hands-on training with the equipment that, that you have. 
show you what you can do, what you can't do, and uh, a lot of little secret tips and tricks. Instructors from record manufacturer Miller Industries are leading the training classes. To work your winch, you have a huge dog and a clutch, and they're, they're cut at 90 degree angles. While the operators and drivers are in class. Hey, turn this block. Bill and Tom are outside doing some last minute run throughs of exercises the other operators will tackle later in the day. In this exercise, they have set up a school bus that will be lifted by two rotators. To make the task even harder, they use a flatbed trailer to represent a bridge embankment. We had to make sure our directions and our angles and our rigging was correct before we had 50, 75 guys who were watching us. Everything's going according to plan. Until suddenly. Misalignment. They're spinning the boom. We didn't have enough clearance over here. The back side of the trailer's boom arm hit the trailer's bulkhead. God dang it. I'm worried about this. I'm sorry, man. I'm worried about this. I this trailer. All right, give me this. Stay here for I'm glad there was not a lot of people out there. Um, Tom was pretty upset. I was scared. And they're here up with the forklift and just move it over. Bring the forklift Lord landing here. I've done that before. I've I've rotated my boom when I'm out on a job and you forget about the backside of what you're doing and uh, I've knocked the light bars off of my rotators because I thought I had clearance. That's the I that you never count on right there. That is definitely the I you never count on. What the hell are you gonna do? Like I've said before, if you're not paying attention. The big tow truck in the sky will straighten it out for you. We just thought we didn't have anything to worry about. And here we are, we both got bit in the ass a little bit. Coming up. Okay, Joey, you ready to try this or what? Joey's okay. skills are put to the test in front of his peers. Some that mixtures are my nemesis. And later, Jeff Cobb gets called out to a call in the pouring rain. Our car went through a little pole and a taking place. O'Hare Towing and Miller Industries are hosting rotator school for heavy duty operators from around the country. Taken from that point in the back where we hooked up to this point underneath the landing legs. Today we're at rotator school. We got towers from uh, all over the U.S. all working together trying to improve and sharpen our skills. We're going to roll on these tires. That's what we're doing. I'm going to winch up on that. Now, if the guys start to swing the booms a little bit, it's a <laughs> King of swing, getting at it. Oh, yeah. But Bill has a surprise for Joey. I'm setting up Joey's truck to pick up this cement mixer for the demonstration. I think it's important for him to hear what these fellas have to say because they're world known instructors. The technique is to have the mixer just off the back of the rotator at a slight angle. As the mixer is lifted, the boom is rotated, causing the mixer to pivot on its own wheels. A second cable is used to catch the mixer just as it's uprighted. This is pretty serious. I mean, to lift this much weight off the corner like this, I mean, me personally, I don't know. But this guy, Tom, he's got my vote. I trust him. Cement mixers are my nemesis. Joey's never had a lot of experience with mixers, and he always tends to get a little intimidated by them. My truck's starting to come off the ground right now. She's sinking. I got my truck fully off the ground. I'm going to need another at least a 50 ton up here to start pulling on this thing. And it's a lot bigger of an ordeal than just a winch out. So uh, I'm going to get trained on how to do a cement mixer this way, I'm bringing the party to the party. OK, Joey, you ready to try this or what? He's not done this before, so he's anxious. Too far eyes, you know, all, right there first. all eyes are on Joey as he tries out a technique he's never tried before. And to make matters worse, it's starting to rain. Today I learned how to roll a 
cement mixer off the back of my truck, load it, and not tip my truck on it. And I'm very happy about that. The cement mixer had eight yards of concrete inside the barrel that had hardened up. It took two trucks to put it on its side, and Joey was able to get it up with one, so I was very impressed with him. Maybe he won't pee down his leg next time he's got to play with the mixer. Meanwhile, back at the shop, yard manager Jeff Cobb has been dispatched to an accident at a hospital. Our car went through uh, a pole and a picnic bench. The driver lost control on the wet pavement and jumped the curb, hitting a picnic table and a handicapped parking sign. Jeff has a plan to get the car up on the flatbed without causing any more damage. The rasp basically gives me an extra, extra height on the car. When I winch it up, it's going to lift the car up, get it up off of that cement block right there, so I won't scratch up the whole bottom of the car. Now I'm going to back the truck up with the car on there. So I can get the bed over the cement block. So then when I pull it up, it's going right in the bed. All done, just in time for the sun to come out. Although all the heavy duty drivers are in class today, O'Hare's light duty crew are still out there taking care of Chicago. Julio is on to his third call of the day. Mike is helping a motorist who left his lights on, and Chris is loading a Mercedes that succumbed to one of Chicago's nasty potholes. Another vehicle, pothole casualty, and the pothole wins. But back at Downers Grove, the heavy duty guys have resumed their train after the afternoon thunderstorm. Very education. A lot of things that I didn't think the truck could do. Tom here showed the true abilities of the rotator. All right, sit. That was awesome. A 40 ton rotator just did what Joey's truck did. That was amazing. How many of y'all thought it was going to do it? I was hoping it would. <laughs> now, this dump truck's stuck on a stump. This could happen to us like tomorrow. If they can grasp some of the basic concepts of how the straps are placed and how the chaining and the blocking and, and all of that, and the, it'll make them better operators. And that, that's really ultimately what the goal is, so they can work faster and safer and smarter. My father said, if you don't learn something once a day, you're not living. Down, 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 down and in. There you go, Captain. I learned something today. Nobody knows it all. But I'm pretty damn close. Coming up, Jameson has to save a 45,000 pound trailer from flipping over. I'm the rookie. I don't want to be the guy that rolls over a trailer. resting on the tires, the dolly leg on the driver's side is already sinking into the black top. It's already broken through the top layers. I need to get this thing stabilized. Um, time is of the essence on this call, because if he blows out the rear tires, this thing's gonna roll. I got a heavy load here, and I gotta make sure I double up my lines. I can take every advantage I can get right now. You always assume for the heaviest you got something like that, and the guy says 44,000, it could have been 50,000 pounds. So if you just spot me, I'm gonna try to keep it as close to the container as possible. Okay. This is the first nose dive I've done by myself. I've been on quite a few of them, but there's always been multiple trucks there, or we had the rotator out there. I had the concept down, I got the theory down. I'm just trying to make sure it's gonna be stable. 
With the rigging complete, it's time to start lifting the trailer. Let's see how this goes. My boom's rated at 25 tons, all the way retracted, and that's just about what the trailer was loaded with. So the fact that I had to shove my stick that far out, I was a little concerned. I'm gonna do this in stages. I'm gonna crib up under your landing gear. So if it falls again, it's gonna not go as far, and I'll land on the wood. shaking when I was working those cables. Unlike Triker and all these other guys, I haven't been doing this that long. I'm the rookie. I don't want to be the guy that rolls over a trailer. It just makes you nervous. With the trailer stabilized and at a safe height, it's time to hook it back up to the truck. You have to do it nice and easy. I put the shackle at the end of the boom instead of using the D-ring on the other side. So I'm keeping all the weight in the center of the shackle where it's supposed to be. I learned that at rotator school. I'm already using my skills that I've learned. Other guys may give me for feeling so proud, but I feel good now. I accomplished something. There's a new one for me. I can do it again. It's like if you see something on TV, it's true. <laughs> you believe everything you see? Yeah. Obviously, people on TV are perfect. How's Joey going to feel if a little truck out pick did what his was doing? You know, no, the question is, how's Billy going to feel when he sees a smaller truck that uh, somebody else can operate? <laughs> get your head in the game and listen to the man. Like school children. I'm going to get him one, a road cone for a dunce hat. done with this. 